How's it going everyone? Hope you're having an awesome time stuck inside right now. Thought we'd give you a little entertainment. Uh, this is my dad and about a year ago we built this teardrop trailer from scratch. We documented the whole process for you. We hope you enjoy it. Well, this is our 5x8 trailer from Northern Tool. It is called the Ultra Tow. They have the Ultra Tow and the Iron Tron. The Iron Tron is steel and it's about $100 less. This one's aluminum. It's $100 more. That's kind of the way math works. Sam has projected this as a 90 minute project. I think he's wrong but I'm gonna support that and try to make it in 90 minutes. We have set the clock and we are at exactly at 11. 1120. 1120, uh, yeah. So let's do this. So we had our first mistake. These two are... <laughs> flipped upside down, so. We're in the process of fixing it right now. Super fast, so we're gonna do it in under 90 minutes. We ran out of room in the garage, so now we have to move the cars and take it to the driveway. We were at 1.30. We started at 11.20. 11.20. Two hours and 10 minutes. I'm gonna give Sam a B, B minus on his prediction, uh, but I'm gonna give myself a C since I thought it was gonna take the whole weekend. If you thought it was gonna take the whole weekend, you got an F. Is that an F for f So it is now day two of the big teardrop project. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be moving the wheels to the back, even though that's not how the instructions set it, just for extra support. And we're going to be putting the base on, we're gonna be putting some roofer's paint on it to help with, what is it? So, <laughs> the hand. And then you're gonna slap it a couple more times. Yeah. Safety first, <laughs> you know what I mean. The first thing we did, we actually got right. We actually made a hole in a piece of wood. Woo! Now we're going to coat the inside with Henry's. Mm. A little moisture is good. How's my hair? What I'm gonna build now is a jig to hold the router so that we can cut a nice clean hole in our test piece. And basically think of it like a compass where you put a string in the middle and a pencil and you spin it around to get a perfect circle. Howdy. Just cutting little notches to go over the bolts because if you look over here, the bolts holding it down, I didn't want to countersink them because then we, there'd be so little material actually being held down. So we're gonna notch this to ride the semi buckle. Teardrop day, I don't even know. 
We got the homie in town. We got the father. And we are gonna be building the pantry and uh, a couple other things. And uh, yeah, let's go. So when we designed this, we made this big round asshole. And because it's not square, or even has even so much as one square edge, the question was, how are you going to seal? This is our template, the door, a watertight seal, so rain doesn't come in and it doesn't, you know, have some resistance. Here is our original rig that we built to cut the door. We moved the center point out approximately two inches and cut a circle. Now we have a circle that's just two inches wider. We made a cardboard template and then I roughed out the spines for the galley. Now I want them to match up perfectly. So I've got them clamped in exactly where I want them. And here's a flush bit. And a flush bit basically is just a straight cutting bit with a little bearing on it that will then run and it'll stop cutting as soon as it hits this. And therefore we'll get a perfectly clean cut. Hey Dad, I'm pretty thirsty. Can you get me a drink? Sure. Let me just go into my pantry and get you one. Pre-open for your convenience. Thank you. This is the forge. This is the forge table. This is the fire pot in here. And this is the blower that blows air underneath the fire pot and gets the fire hot enough to get steel to a workable temperature. What you doing? Oh, just, you know, the wood filler. It's the small things that count. The wood filler? Yeah. The putty? The putty. You're stuck to your smile. <laughs> it's Sunday, March 17th. We've been working on this since December 8th, and today is a huge day. Today we are going to finish the skinning of the entire trailer. We're really excited. Yeah, last bit coming up. Mm -hmm. 